What's up everyone? Uh, I thought I wouldn't inflict misery guts on you because uh, while I watch this clip back and it's a little bit lame, so we've got future me. So we're changing over that shower you just saw and I was going to show you in the airing cupboard but for some reason this day I couldn't work out that the door will not open with the ladder to the loft in the way. Who knew? So, and then I say something about uh, how it's not fair that there's no uh, ball, uh, ball effects on the uh, main cold water storage tank or you know, uh, stopcock or anything like that. There is one on the F and E, but obviously that won't help us here to uh, help me do my job. So, with all that going on, let's get started. So we're just in the airing cupboard here, and um, these gate valves are all just seized up. So we'll change that one, that one. Then we're also going to do the two for the shower. We're changing there and there, and then we've got basically full isolation of the system. So if there's any other work that needs doing, we can just flick the levers off and do it. So that'll be nice. But uh, at the moment we've just got the mains off in the road and the water drainer. And then we shall begin switching that off and getting that out. In fact, I'll do that now. Right, well we can't hear you when you mumble, James, so you need to, <laughs> need to stop that. Jesus Christ. So we're just unwrapping the shower here gonna obviously check that it's the same one as the one I'm replacing or else something has gone wrong somewhere however you know that wouldn't be the first time that it's happened and if it's the wrong shower at this point it's too late and you're just gonna have to unwrap it and re you know deal with it and it wouldn't be the end of the world to repipe it just because it's so far over to the left there but it doesn't matter this is immaterial it's a straight swap and uh We'll safely isolate it and uh, get it swapped. Obviously, we take the greatest care when working. We want to, you know, not wear our boots in the bath. That's a bad idea. So we'll, we'll throw a sheet down. And really, it's the same standard. Whatever bathroom you're working in, you 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 have to make sure that the only reason people can tell that you've been there is that there's a nice new shower in there and not your gritty boot prints in the bottom of the bath. So if you didn't catch it earlier, I'm basically draining the uh, water out of the loft tank so we can change all of the gate valves out because none of them work as usual. And I'm sure if I spent two hours fiddling with them, turning them on and off repeatedly until they uh, somehow, you know, free themselves up and then, you know, I might be able to get it so that they turn off most of the way and only get a little drip coming through. Yeah, after all that, let's let's just change them. That's my attitude. If I see a gate valve, I'm going to rip it out and put a lever valve in because I'm I'm sick of it. I will I will try it. I'll give it the fair, you know. I want to turn the water off. Tries to turn the water off. If it doesn't work, that's it. Zero tolerance. There's no more reason for these things to exist. And uh, what you can see there is a, a little bit of what we call safe isolation and you should uh, do that and if you didn't know that you should do that while working on an electrical appliance then uh, don't work on an electrical appliance <laughs> so um, you know it's not rocket science you just have to make sure that you've killed the current and then you've confirmed the kill by obviously there being no more current there or else if you turn a switch off and the the, the device in question doesn't have any current you don't actually know if the switch that you've turned off is actually what's isolated it or whether there is some other switch somewhere and then you'll look silly when you go to switch it back on and of course it won't come back on because the switch that you thought it was wasn't and it's so easy to go down a rabbit hole somewhat like this never-ending sentence because I don't seem to be uh, pausing to speak anymore but there we go I think it's just the uh, the time of night oh full stop eh so these Myras, I've genuinely had a, a, a positive experience with them when I've worked on them. Um, you can repair these showers, however the spares are so prohibitively expensive if you needed to change the thermostat, the pump, or um, the solenoid. It's going to cost as much in time and labour as, you know, fitting a new shower would, so it is feasibly possible. And I even said to the client, it, it is possible to repair this, but the, 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 the cost to benefit ratio of it really doesn't 
favor repairing it because for this much I can just turn the water off and 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 fit a new one and as I would have to change the change the valves anyway or at least drain the water out of the system to work on the shower anyway I've still got to wait for this all to drain down you know if cost was really really uptight maybe but you can't guarantee outcome at, at that point and I'd much rather say to the client we can 100% do this if we just change it over than if we start trying to repair stuff and everything else and I used to repair showers in the past and do bits and bobs and you can get lucky with the spares and you know some sometimes it even works out slightly cheaper but I'm at the stage now where I, I, I really don't need it so this is what we're doing and I'm just setting up these little plastic tabs now this is probably one of my complaints about the shower those plastic tabs they push in there like that but they don't stay in they don't click in so what I end up doing is I end up putting a little bit of CT1 on them just white CT1 and then basically wiping it around the edges there and pushing it in and also another thing about that is that those tabs aren't very waterproof to me so surely they need to be if you're going to be showering with this thing so there's two two methods or reasons why I use that method. It's you know to make it a little bit more waterproof so you don't get electrocuted, and also to keep them in so that I'm not pissing about because you're seeing there where they're flying out like nobody's business. Nobody needs that while they're trying to screw the thing to the wall. And once you've screwed it to the wall, you can't actually put those tabs in. But once you know that, it's not a big deal. And like I say, my experience with Myra showers, I think that's a Myra event I'm fitting there they tend to be you know quite straightforward there's nothing that's like you know really weird about it and also a little bit further to my point yeah the tabs are a bit sucky but there is actually a reason that they're in the design it's so that you've got the versatility of being able to use surface mounted you know connections where you know you've got the landlord special where they've drilled two holes in the ceiling and run two chrome 15 mils down you can just push those directly onwards although you do need to rough up the chrome i think although you technically don't but i think you do just because to help the um the the, the jaws on the on the connections inside fit because they're, they're like speed fit connections and anybody that's worked with chrome you know you don't really want to push a chrome pipe into something like a speed fit elbow now if it was fed from the top and you know it was screwed to the wall would it pop off it might do it might not i would just you know get the wire brush on it and just rough it up before you push it in there and then it's fine and then i'm just here i'm just going through all the i put all the lever valves in that i needed for this job in the in the box there so everything was nice and organized it's uh, a little bit of a rarity when i do that that's why it's such a monumentous occasion that i felt like videoing it because uh, i actually turned up to this job with everything I needed to and it was quite simple to get on and do it which is nice and uh, all jokes aside though this year I, I, I want to get a bit better at that and this year so far I have been actually because I haven't been working myself to death but uh, you know you still get the odd blip here and there and if you've got a bit of time to just sort of plan out what you're going to do you've looked at the job first you, you know you make your notes and your on your tablet and you can generally generally get by okay so yeah like I was saying Myra showers they're all right you know they haven't failed me or let me down yet but I, I, I'm just a little bit salty over this Bristan thing I've been dealing with lately where I've basically fitted a load of Bristan stuff and uh, I keep getting the uh, the cold shoulder from the uh, warranty department and uh, you know they send somebody out oh the tap's fine don't know what you're talking about and then they refuse to come out again and this, you pay them to and it's it's a bit of a pain really but it's neither here nor there I'm sure it's just a few individuals rather than the actual company itself and uh, we'll see what they're like this year if they continue to do it then uh, you know it's obviously irritating now that there what I just did is the uh, if you don't know this is the filter assembly on the um, on the Myra event here and uh, obviously I've turned off all the water so if you just undo that screw and pull it out it, it just drains the pipework for the shower so I can work on it but if you were working on one of these it was giving you some problems 
and you uh, wanted to check whether the filters were blocked, that would be how you do it. It's a little black thing on the um, left of the enclosure as the water water feeds come in. You undo the screws and you can you can get to all that. You know, they're like little mesh filters in there. And before I condemned the shower, I did indeed check the filters. But the filters weren't the problem. It's the motor that's just gone. And the motor's online and the list price is like 100 quid. I'll try and, I'll try and annotate it if I can. It's It's not... It's not a small amount of money for a part and then you've still got the rest of the shower being crappy and old so again what I was saying earlier just just replace the bloody thing and uh, yes now I'm trying to get in there with my handy dandy quick release tool and uh, you'll see in a minute it's because one of the pipes is actually like it's been crushed where they've done this the last time so I'm having a bit of a hard time here and it's because, well, it's because the pipe isn't round anymore and I end up using screwdrivers and God knows what. And then that leads us into um, having to replace that little section of pipe. So I'll let you uh, marvel at my my uh, expertise getting this off and then uh, we'll, uh, we'll get to that. That's the old one, and we've just got to make a new one. So. Nice and simple. So we can do a bit of Instagram soldering while we're here. I need to put some marks on this so I can see. Well, it goes around a 15 mil nut. I did put a sharpie line on it, but then, like on the bit here, so I could see what the perfect one was. Bit wore, out, so I'll have to get like a hacksaw and just mark it with that. Hmm. What's that? Is that paste? No, bath and silicon. I love it. Look at it. Oh yes. Anyway, we just need to copy that bit. We don't need this. Be about the same. Yeah, one one five. And have we got just a short bit for the down bit? What about that? What's that like compared to that? Hey, saving the copper. Of course, this bit's too big to fit in my bag, but yeah, not too bad, is it, Mullard? Though. Sure, I'll remember how this goes together, but be sure to shout out if you think I've done something wrong.
sort of worked out that sort of two clips, if you're going to use it next, is about right. And then what's left in there will probably be fine. Uh, Blu ray. Because I've got it on a uh, flat surface like this, I don't need to worry too much about it getting all skewy. There is quite a lot of play on the pipe upstairs, so we haven't got to worry about like having these rotated in a certain way to have them all specially aligned. It's not a it's not a tight tolerance piece of tubing, is it? Alright. Well, that's the shower bar, we don't want that under there. Put that over there. Like that. Oops. Out of the way. Rag. I'll do that. Have the inevitable smoke alarm in a minute. Apart from the fact that you don't want to get drips because you don't want your Instagram followers to see them. Also, if you get drips on this, you'll um make it a lot harder for you to um, obviously connect the shower because you'll have the dribbles of solder running down and you know you've got to then file those off so there is method to the madness some, sometimes sometimes it's just a massive misallocation of time depends what, what, you, what sort of work you're doing it's probably too much but the case moving. There we go, back in the bag. We got all over and scold our beautiful lino floor. I'll get these a little, little wipe. So you want gloves because this will still be perishingly hot. And oh, we got a little dribble just there. Oh dear. Oh. It's a little clean. Have a little bit of prime. I'm not going to get that bit off there. There's no, no reason to. Scrub down there, make sure all the joints are all good. No gaps. Looks pretty good. Pretty good. Apart from that little pip there, we've done all that. done with. 
I'll leave that on the landing, but the, the, the case of fittings can go down. I can't have this in the one. Perfect. Okay, so that's us all done now. We've replaced the shower, we've renewed a little bit of pipe work here where it was damaged in the old one. We replaced the valves in here for the shower isolator and for the main hot and cold isolations because when I was here quoting we tried to turn them off and I brought it to the client's attention that they had no way of shutting their water off so it was advised and quoted for and it was done. And then we've also replaced Obviously this in here is what we were originally called out for, and there it is there. And uh, your controls here are quite, quite simple. You've got your speed control is this outer dial, starts off slow, and as you turn it up it gets faster, you turn it down it gets slower, 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 and then it just shuts off. And then you've got, so that was this one, and then this central one is your temperature control with your safety cutoff being this red tab here that you press in and you can turn it to absolutely, oh my god, that is scalding the skin off my body. And then back up, you know, to the 12 o'clock position where most of us shower, but you do what you want, it's your shower. I'll have to give that a wipe down while I've touched that with my grubby hands. And uh, so yeah, so we do, we do the job that you ask us, and then also we have a look, and if there's anything weeping or leaking or not working, we'll also advise you to have it fixed. And you don't necessarily have to have it fixed, but I will tell you what the consequences of that are, and as long as you accept those, that's fine. And uh, if you call me at two in the morning because you've got water coming through your ceiling and there's no way to shut it off, you know, that is a, might be a consequence. So, you know, this here, these labels aren't mine, these were here before, but they'll serve quite well. You've got the direction on the levers here, so, you know, the water's off, the water's on, you know. It's simple, and then that way, if there is a problem, it's not a in the middle of the night call out, it's a turn the water off and I'll attend to it tomorrow morning. Now, another thing we've spotted in here, and I'll bring this to the client's attention, is that this filter's leaking. So I'll say to them that either myself or the heating engineer they used to service their boiler, 
you know they need to they need to look at this and get it sorted because it's you know it's not leaking right now but that's because it's you know it's stopped just due to the fact that the water here is so hard that it's clogged up wherever it's leaking out from you know like the egg in the radiator sort of thing but you can't always count on that you know it's not smart water it's not designed to do that it's just because there's so much so much limestone in it but um yeah that definitely needs swapping over but other than that we're fine in here oh, that's my paste i don't want to leave that behind so if you want us to come and do the same for your airing cupboard have a look at it and generally get it sorted or you need a power shower such as this one installed feel free to drop me an email below and uh i'll get back to you and uh you know do something similar anyway take care have a good day and thank you for watching